Thank you very much for your time. My name is Pablo Borges, and I'll talk about ProducePay. So ProducePay is a payment platform that connects farmers, distributors, and banks to ensure faster cash turnover and provide financing through the supply chain. But why does the industry need ProducePay in the first place? In order to better understand this, we need to look at each of the players individually. Farmers harvest for a, fresh produce farmers harvest for about two to three months out of the year. Yet during that time, the machinery, equipment, but most importantly, their labor costs soar. So much so that this short period of time represents about 70% of their total annual cash flows. Yet while they pay these costs on a weekly and sometimes even daily basis in the case of labor, they themselves are not paid until 45 to 60 days later, which means they incur in a huge liquidity gap. This is where distributors come in. Fresh produce distributors don't buy and sell the produce. They take the produce on behalf of the farmer and sell it on what is called a consignment basis, making an 8 to 10% commission when the proceeds are collected 45 to 60 days later. The problem with that is that in order to get the volume in the first place, they need to advance 30 or 40% of that 7 to 10 days after getting the produce, which means that in order to do so, they have to not only take the credit risk involved in financing farmers, but actually use their own cash and credit facilities to do so, which means that they incur in a huge financial bottleneck. So why aren't banks getting in on these short-term loans? Well, honestly, the, the short-term and high-spike nature of these loans really is not up to the bank's risk-return profile. What they would much rather do, and what they do do, is they would much rather lend to large distributors who have large diversified revenue stream and use their assets as collateral. But that, of course, leaves the industry where it is today, where farmers are hugely underbanked, where, where less than 1% of total U.S. Act loan portfolio goes to agriculture. This is where produce pay comes in. ProducePay has effectively created a, a, a three-party communication and transaction system that allows all parties to communicate in real time. So with ProducePay, a grower can send his produce and receive financing the very next day because as soon as a distributor gets the produce, he accepts it through our system and our system triggers a wire through the bank. Alternatively, the bank can now access huge, can access large diversified portfolios of farmers while still collect directly through, through the distributor because what ProducePay does is it takes all the proceeds from the sale of these produce and channels them directly through the bank, allowing the bank to get first priority of their collection without having to work with any grower directly. So ultimately, where is the industry after ProducePay? You have a grower who now gets next day liquidity. You have a distributor who now has no financial burden whatsoever and hence has been relieved of that huge bottleneck. And you have a bank who now access huge diversified portfolios of growers who can, who can collect directly from distributors, who gets first priority of their collection without having to work with any grower directly. A bit about the industry itself. In 2013 alone, the U.S. consumed 92.4 billion pounds of fresh produce. That represented $55 billion worth of transactions for farmers alone. Our system as it exists today already allows us to, to, to attack or to target $36 billion out of that 55. How we intend to go about it, we have partnered with a $700 million distributor that's already giving us a, a baseline to launch our pilot. So we have $20 million worth of transactions secured for our initial pilot, and as we take that on successfully, we can take incremental por portions of our distributor profile, uh, portfolio. Our, our goal is that as we do that, we expand and standardize these services and then offer them to the general public, and our long-term goal is to have a fully, a fully uh, a full service offering that's been completely standardized in a, in a big enough user base that we can actually allow these users to interact with each other, which means that we would essentially transcend to an online marketplace itself. A bit about a competitive landscape. ProducePay doesn't compete with banks. It partners with banks to provide enhanced services that can compete better with, uh, against other banks. Really, our biggest uh, competitive risk is our inability to keep up with partnerships so that, so that we essentially allow for direct competition to arise. A bit about the team itself. I was born and raised in a fourth generation farming family in northwestern Mexico. Over my career, I've had the opportunity to work with farming and distribution operations in the US, Argentina, Chile, Uruguay. And this is where I really saw this need and saw that cash management was an issue wherever you went. We have a software development partner and a distribution partner, which I've mentioned before, that are with us in this project. And a bit about our timeline. We spent this, the first six months getting the partnerships we needed to, in order to launch this. We found the, the distribution partnership, the software partnership, and the banking partnership. Once we had those, we created the functionality to make this work, and we have uh, successfully created the, the software to make this happen. We're in the process of onboarding our final partners to the system to launch next month. I'm not going to go into the financing. I'm happy to do it in the Q&A as the functionality itself. I wanted to show you a quick video, but it looks like we're out of time. I'll do that if, um, if there's time left after Q&A. Thank you. Okay. Can you do it? Just click on, on the video. How long is the video? It's one minute. We could do the video for one minute. 
It's really cool. It's worth it. After shipping my crops. When harvest arrives, the time between shipping your product and getting paid is an extended waiting period that introduces uncertainty, stress, and risk. Labor, machinery, and equipment all require constant cash flow, and sometimes the wait for cash is simply too long. Produce Pay solves this problem. Produce Pay is a new financial technology that improves cash management throughout distribution channels, allowing growers to receive cash for their goods the very next day. Produce Pay also presents growers with enhanced information and analytics. It can track volume and sales, improve transparency, and provide insight for future shipments. Produce Pay works on behalf of growers to improve crucial aspects of their harvest by providing immediate access to funds, detailed analytics, and transparency throughout the supply chain. Produce Pay, making a tough job just a little bit easier. Pablo, thanks for presenting today. It's very interesting. I, one quick question. Sure. How do you deal with repayment risk along this supply chain? Rep well, repayment risk, the way we do that is that we, th these advances are only really triggered after the distributor has accepted them, after which point uh, there's a certain value within the produce that can be shown. Because once the distributor is in the system, the amount of, of money you can recover for the produce you put into the system is, is, is more than 40%, and that can be proven w when you look at the data, which is what we've essentially done. We amassed five to 10 years worth of data on these commodities, and we, and we were able to prove to the banking partner that once they are in the position of the distributor, their value can only fall so much, and as long as you land below that value, you're guaranteeing your, the, the collection of the produce. Uh, what about for those small businesses and farms that don't have relationships with distributors or, or intentionally choose to work one-on-one -on -one with various kitchens in the areas? Is this uh, built? Is a program like this built for them? Uh, at this point, we would work with the with the people who work with distributors, which is why our system mentioned that from the 55 billion, our system right now can target 36, which is we've, we're focusing on how the vast bulk of the industry is functioning. Because by doing so and having the third, a third party, which is a distributor, we can provide a third party to provide additional securities to the bank without, without having the, the grower do it themselves to avoid conflict of interest. So right now, we're, we're focusing on that model, model specifically, which does manage the bulk of the industry itself. So it, it seems to me like uh, this is more of a management solution, but I was wondering about the initiation of these type of credit facilities. Are you involved in that at all? Yep, I'm involved in the partnerships and everything involved with originating this, these, having these credit lines available for these farmers, yes. So do the farmers come to you first? The way we're approaching this is, the amount of farmers that supply the US is in the millions, it's huge. Um, but really the distributors that, that, that handle the bulk of, of, of the so offer here in the US, you, probably the 10 biggest distributors handle more than 50% of the volume. So we're approaching this at a distributor level because ultimately the distributor has so much to gain by relieving itself of this financial burden that if he, if he takes this on, then he, can, then he can push this on to his growers and, and implement it and therefore you just connect it, the farmer, the distributor, and as long as you have the banks to finance it, you're, you're in. I apologize if you said this, but what was your fee model? Our fee? Yeah. We make 1% of our transactions, and that's the fee that the farmer and distributors see and they share. Uh, we also have a relationship with the bank, and in order to, for bringing this large portfolio of, 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 of funds, we get 100% an, annualized points, and, but since these are, are short-term loans, ultimately it's 100 basis points divided by 12, because 30-day loans. So, that's, so there, there, there are different revenue points put throughout the place, and what we're doing is we're matching we're matching the value aggregation to each individual party to how much we charge them to make sure that people end up paying for the benefit that they perceive. So there are, very, there are several throughout the point. Yep. Anyone else? Yep. I was just wondering in that prior comment, if you were saying 
by having this system in place, the smaller farmers who aren't now using the distributors will sort of be incentivized to use a distributor or make their life easier? Is exactly. That, I mean, but is that cost effective for them or will well, be? It, it is if, if you believe in the role of the distributor, which I think it's been proven given that the vast bulk of the industry uses them, is that if you're targeting kind of the, the, the supermarkets, because you have to have a certain amount of volume to really make it worth having somebody do the sales for you. So if you have like one acre of produce in your, in your home, maybe it's not worth it for you, but if you, if you handle anything over 100 acres, really where it's much worth for you to have somebody who specializes in sale do that for you, then it's definitely worth it, which is why the vast majority of the industry uses distributors. And also supermarkets, uh, excluding local, local sourcing, but when it comes to real, to like sourcing big volume, they're normally comfortable working with distributors because these distributors source produce for them the entire year. All right, we're out of time. Um, but you're hanging out, right? Yeah, I'll be here. <laughs> cool. Thank you. Right on. Thank you so much, Pablo. Produce pay.